in the very beginning, Doug and I were living in the middle of this paradise. And we said, it would be incredible to save this place. Just save it. Doug and Chris, you would see them together, and it was like teenage kids. He was very charming. I thought, that's the man I was supposed to marry. It was scandalous. These were the original dirtbag climbers and surfers and skiers who go on to create the outdoor clothing business as we know it. And then there was the change. On any scorecard, nature is losing. They saw nature being destroyed. And if we destroy nature, we destroy ourselves. The ultimate do-it-yourself approach to saving the Earth, buying it. We started to realize it was possible to create a national park with the idea that we would donate it back to the country. And they're going, come on, <laughs> nobody does that. A desire to preserve this place. I think that is as strong a bond as any two people can have. And then the worst thing that could happen to me happened. Douglas Tompkins died Tuesday in an accident in Chile. I was on my knees. This audacious vision of Doug's, that was like a life raft for me. We need to finish up these parks. It's now or never. It was so unlikely that you could pull that off. She became more and more fierce. I asked myself, how can I come this far without you? But then I remembered, you've been here all along. Look, 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 look. Doug would be so happy. They define an entire way of life. Look at this incredible wildness, as far as you can see. Before I died, I wanted this life. Something wild. <laughs>